We're so big on the 2017 season in more ways than one. So gear up and get pumped. I'm Daquan Young, and today we present 10 reasons why the 2017 NFL season will be epic. Number 10, Miles Garrett. The Cleveland Browns have been waiting forever to see a man come in and save this franchise. Enter 2017 first overall pick, Miles Garrett, the 272 pound defensive end out of Texas A&M. Garrett has all the tools to be one of the NFL's premier pass rushers. There's no reason to believe he can't be dominant right off the bat. Number nine, Sunday Night Football's Redemption Tour. Sunday Night Football games were absolutely awful in 2016. Six games were decided by two scores, and even the close games were usually low scoring and boring. Sunday Night Football looks epic for 2017 though. This includes a Super Bowl 51 rematch, a historic matchup between the Green Bay Packers and Pittsburgh Steelers, plus many great NFC East duels once again. So it looks like we'll actually be entertained on Sunday nights once again. Number eight, injured stars return. A back injury caused Rob Gronkowski to miss half of the 2016 season, plus the entire playoffs. The entire Green Bay Packers defense was banged up, and it cost them a chance at reaching a Super Bowl. Star quarterback Desmond Trufant also had to miss the Atlanta Falcons' epic playoff run that nearly brought a championship. Future Hall of Famer Adrian Peterson tore his meniscus and missed most of 2016. You get the idea. Too many star players got hurt in 2016. We can't wait to see them come back with a vengeance in 2017. Number seven the NFC South. Once considered a joke of a division, the NFC South is going to be a four-way horse race in 2017. At least that's how we see it. The Falcons and reigning league MVP Matt Ryan will try to avenge their heartbreaking Super Bowl collapse. The Panthers and Cam Newton try to strike back after going from NFC champs to NFC chumps. The Saints are running out of time to win another title with Drew Brees. Can an improved young defense finally help them out? And the Buccaneers feature a lethal young duo in Jameis Winston and Mike Evans. They also picked up Deshaun Jackson. Now's the time for them to end Tampa Bay's 10 year playoff drop. Number six, Dak and Zeke. Hate the Dallas Cowboys all you want, but there's no denying that Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott were the NFL's most exciting offensive duo to watch in 2016. And they were rookies. Elliott figures to win at least five rushing titles in his life. Prescott is trying to be the next Troy Aikman and not the next Tony Romo. They were elite as rookies, and it's impossible to guess how much better they'll be in 2017. That gonna need Zeke back, bruh. Number five, the rookie roadrunners. The NFL is now a pass-happy league. We could sure use some new running backs to show the world that the position isn't a dying breed. Insert Leonard Fournette, whom the Jacksonville Jaguars took fourth overall. Expect them to be really good. Side note, take them in fantasy football if you can. All eyes will be on prize prospect Christian McCaffrey, the Stanford back that Carolina took with the eighth pick. And Dalvin Cook now has the duties of replacing Adrian Peterson in Minnesota. It's not gonna be easy, but the kid has a lot of potential. Number four, the Patriots quest for six. Tom Brady made his case as the GOAT even stronger by capturing his fifth Super Bowl. Nonetheless, many folks remain sold on Joe Montana or even Peyton Manning as the best ever. Not me, not at all. A sixth championship for TB12 automatically ends the argument. He and Bill Belichick have nothing left to prove. We said the same thing about Michael Jordan when he won his fifth with the Bulls. Number three, swan song seasons for some legends. Every year we see some of the very best retire. 2017 figures to be the final year for a number of NFL stars who are sure to be in Canton someday. Expect Larry Fitzgerald to retire. 2016 was expected to be his last, but he's given it another shot. Julius Peppers is pushing 40, and 2017 figures to be his last season as well. Adrian Peterson is a 32-year-old running back with multiple knee injuries in the past. 2017 could very well be his last year especially if he can't stay healthy. What about Ben Roethlisberger, who contemplated retirement after the 2016 season? Stay tuned, we'll see a number of stars hang up the cleats after 2017. Number two, the rise of young contenders. While we expect the usual dominance from the Patriots, Packers, and Seahawks, there are some new teams that figure to contend in 2017. This includes the Tennessee Titans, who are led by rising quarterback Marcus Mariota and elite running back DeMarco Murray. What about the Philadelphia Eagles? that young defense and the progress of young quarterback Carson Wentz. We already touched base on the Buccaneers and the Oakland Raiders figured to take it to the next level with Derek Carr. Number one, the new wave of quarterbacks. Dak Prescott was something else to watch as a 23 year old rookie in 2016. Imagine what more he can do in 2017. Jameis Winston is the quarterback of the Buccaneers future. Now just watch him grow as an elite passer. Mitch Trubisky has the chance to fix the awful Chicago Bears on his own. And Teddy Bridgewater returns after missing all of 2016. Bring it on, the new generation of elite quarterbacks will emerge in 2017, and we can't wait. What else are you excited to see during the 2017 NFL season? Join us in the comments below. 
If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we truly appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around on Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.